Uh, what's up guys um i'm just recording this video to uh, to show you basically that uh, you can still geek on this uh, very old system that is an i7 hq with a a60 4 gb 3 ram gtx uh, geforce nvidia so yeah it's really quite old as you can see, and I'm rocking it around 42 FPS inside Portal. So of course, when I go down, it's gonna go down a bit, but yeah, whatever. So yeah, of course, if you go to a big city, uh, it's gonna be something else because you. My CPU is uh, basically right now. Um, you can see there, that's the CPU. It's at 2.9. Um, I can, that's the, the 2.9 is the maximum that the CPU came with this laptop. It's a Lenovo Y5070. Um, it has 16 gigabyte of RAM. And uh, I have a, inside a 500 gigabyte SSD. So I'm running the game on an SSD basically. Um, what I'm trying to show is I'm still at around 36 and this is not me pushing the uh, computer at his max. So basically I was able to overclock this computer, the CPU and the GPU. The GPU is overclocked right now already. I'm at 3000 uh, milliards uh, memory and uh, 1,232 1, uh, milliards uh, on the core clock. So it's not bad, it's uh, quite good overclocking. As you can see, it's quite snappy. Um, of course, my resolution is quite down. I'm at around 720, I think. Yes, 720p. But um, I'm quite happy with the results. It's geekable, you know? Uh, of course, um, what you sh I'm gonna try to show you now is Basically, that's why I'm trying to keep down. Oh, wait, I'm gonna focus back down on that. So, the 87 degrees that you see there is what I'm trying to keep low. So, I have a cooling pad under the um, under the laptop. I changed the tone of pace myself. So, I have a get, get better uh, yield. Uh, so, now I'm going to try to push the computer as it's complete max. I mean, using throttle stuff for it. You should definitely give it a try. So 3.1 on four, all four. Uh, so this is an i7 4702HQ. It was designed normally to go to up to 2.9 on four and 3.1 on the, uh, on one of the, uh, on one of the uh, cores. So now I'm pushing basically one of the cores. I can push it up to 3.4. On two, on, it's going to be on the two first, it's going to be at 3.3, .3, and the rest is on all of them 3.1. So I use them all together if you want, so I leave it at 3.1. I could push it a bit more, but kind of useless. I'm already around 95 degrees. You could fry an egg on my computer right now. But I want to show you what this old baby can do. So right now, I'm at 3. Point, oh wait, let me show that again. Oh, there you go. So I'm at 3.1 now. 93. Yeah. It's not bad. I'm gonna try to show you when you get on a ship how it goes. Uh, so the Trivia Avenger Titan. I love this ship. Probably one of the best ships they did. B70. So let's go. I'm recording with an external camera so it doesn't disrupt the uh, gaming experience because uh, the CPU is already at 70-80% so if I record it with the computer it's gonna be like, um, it's gonna basically that. Uh, let's say it's gonna fault the results kinda of bit. So I really wanna show you the experience you can get on these old GPUs and CPUs. Of course, an i7-4702 is a quite powerful CPU for its time. But yeah, it's kinda of getting outdated now for these old, these new kinda of 
games, you know. Star Citizen is one of them. I bought this game like this PC like seven, six years ago. Uh, four Star Citizen, hoping that I would play on it. Uh, I was like, uh, not gonna happen. That was quite funny. So, but it's incredible to still able to play this game. So, on, on, at 94, 95, you can see it's gonna stay around there as, as, as long as that it doesn't go at 100 degrees, it, it should be fine. 98, they were designed to, to go much higher than the other ones anyway, and new, new CPUs. And um, so, let's try to go to Daymar. Show you quickly around. So graphics look quite good actually, at even at 720p. It's not that bad now. Oh, I forgot to. Uh, there we go. So yeah, it's it's playable by all means. It's not the most beautiful looking star season, of course. You can find this PC like for 300, 200 bucks on eBay, I guess. Don't take the 4K version. Take the um, because the 4K version has the, the GTX 860 2 gigabyte VRAM in it. This one has the GTX 860 4 gigabyte VRAM in it. As you can see there, and it, that helps a lot. Helps a lot with the new games. That would be definitely much lower uh, FPS as if. Um, if this was a 2GB version. And I think there's also the Kepler and another version. I don't know which one is mine, but mine is the more powerful one. I know that. I just remember. I just confuse names, both of them. So check, go check for that too. So let's go to Shubin. I'm just drawing, doing like what you would do in a day. This game looks beautiful. Yeah. Can't get enough, you know. Since this last update, actually, the performances are way better. Oh, there's someone. Let's scan him. Another Revenger Titan. Okay. He's not gonna smooch with me. Just gonna take some. Go my trailer, man. Don't attack me, please. Okay, I think he's gone. Ah, this looks awesome. And you can see I'm at around 42, 30 when I'm inside. 36. It's not that bad. No, I'm quite happy, actually. I just dived there and it was there. It's so funny. So let's get landing gear out. Slow down a bit more. Oh, oh, this strafe mode is oh man, so boring. Can't get used to it. I think they're taking it away next uh, next patch. Oh man, this ah, oh, it's auto and it's horrible. There you go. Engine off. Let's get out. It's so crazy to just land on the moon like this. It's just already blew my mind. You know, we, when we started, they started the project, and I, I just invested into the pictures. I was like, yeah, this is gonna be awesome, and. They like surpassed what they were they're gonna deliver by ten thousand times fold. Uh, that's crazy what they did. Actually, people are complaining, but come on, man. Nobody ever tried to achieve something like this. They didn't think it was possible. So I'm sitting at around 40, 
40, 35 FPS is, and for me it's even smoother than you know, how it looks on the camera. Uh, yeah, it's freaking smooth. I love it. Um, oh, there's that's where I'm supposed to go. Um, I was just gonna, gonna add. I'm gonna do another video where uh, I go to um, to basically uh, to one of the big cities to check how the FPS is are over there because it used to be not that good i used to be sitting around 26 when i was uh, in a in a big city but i never tried it actually uh, with the new update so i have to go and check and see maybe i have somewhat higher resolution because i used to see much higher gpu usage now okay because we're on a planet it's much higher but used to everywhere used the gpu used to take much higher usage and now I can see the CPU is taking higher usage maybe that helps I don't know let's take some quads I don't have a lot of money so let's do this oh should I take some gold let's buy some gold there's quads oh I cannot buy okay, whatever. Of course we'll do. Yeah, I can jump so high, it's so funny. Sorry, my camera is not very stable. And yeah, there yeah, should be better now. As I said, you could fry an egg on that CPU, but that's how it was designed to function in the first place. So I'm not that worried, you know, it's been working straight for seven years. Of course, you have to take good care of the hardware. I always open it up, clean it up, change my tone paces and stuff. So it's all full in cargo. All good. We're all Gucci here. But these Lenovo products are quite good actually. I'm very happy with it. Really. Besides the HDD that I had to change because it died, nothing, nothing really failed to now. Everything was fine. And this is a very demanding game, so it's incredible that still can run it at these uh, at these weights. So engine on, now we're ready to go. Yay! Oh, there it is. value there so okay let's call these guys
So that was a little missiony, I would say. Uh, I'm gonna try to do uh, other videos where I'm gonna go explore um, bigger interest points as uh, planets, as I said, and uh, big cities and stuff. Try to show you the FPSs. But um, if you have uh, an old gear that you weren't using because you thought it wouldn't work, I can. Um, I'm gonna do another video on how I overclocked this much the computer, and, uh, what I did for it to work. So, uh, yeah. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next video.